Well, hey YouTube, Ben Potter here, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different than a lot of the other videos on my channel, in that today's video is gonna be a little bit more about playing and playing style rather than talking about gear. Um, so what I wanna talk about today is the different roles that the electric guitar can play in a song. I started out uh, when I first learned guitar on acoustic guitar, and so when I went, to, when I first got an electric guitar, I think the temptation was to just play it the same way that you would play an acoustic guitar. But I think most of the time, that is not really the way that we want to approach the electric guitar. So I've got uh, several different ways, several different roles that an electric guitar can play. This is not all of them, I'm sure, uh, but this gives you kind of a good handful of tools that you can work on to develop if you're new to the electric guitar, uh, some ways that you can um, play some different roles within a song. So I have a progression here that I've uh, recorded that has uh, drums, bass, piano, acoustic guitar, and then electric guitar uh, in it. And we're gonna be using this progression to play, uh, to try playing a bunch of different roles. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just double the acoustic guitar part with the electric guitar and a little bit of overdrive so we can hear what that would sound like. Uh, the guitar that I'm using today, this is my Fender uh, 2017 Fender Baja Telecaster. It's relatively new to me. I got it about three months ago. Uh, I was up in Nashville, visited Carter Vintage Guitars, and uh, picked this up. It is not vintage, uh, but I've been wanting a Butterscotch Tele, and uh, they had this one there, and it's a great mix of uh, some vintage specs with some modern features in it that kind of make it a best of both worlds. The pedal board and effects that I'm using, um, I am using my big pedal board, but instead of miking up my Blues Junior, I'm using one of the patches that I use on my HX Stomp at church with the Matchstick Channel 2 amp model and an IR. Uh, the HX Stomp is also handling most of the delays and reverbs. And then for uh, overdrive, mostly I'm using the Shelly Guitars OD Overdrive. It's kind of a modified tube screamer. I also uh, will kick on the Keeley compressor, and for one of the takes, I'm gonna use the JHS Andy Timmons uh, pedal for some lead stuff. So here is kind of my core tone bridge pickup with the OD overdrive on. <laughs> So using that tone, let's see what it would sound like if I just double the acoustic guitar part. All right, so the first role that I wanna talk about is an ambient role. And with an ambient role, you're probably gonna be using, uh, playing just kind of a couple notes here and there. I like to swell those notes in. So today I'm just gonna be using the volume uh, knob on my guitar, but you could also use a volume pedal or a auto swell effect if you have that. And effect wise, I have the overdrive off, so I'm using a clean tone. I have the Keeley compressor on to kind of help those notes sustain out a little bit longer. I have uh, just my normal eighth note delay. It's the simple delay in the pod, so I believe it's just kind of a straight up digital delay. And then for my ambient sound, I'm using a quarter note delay with modulation on it, and then the Granny Made uh, reverb. So um, here's what that tone sounds like. If I swell it in, So let's hear what that sounds like in the context of the mix. Now, 
Now, admittedly, I would probably use that ambient tone in more of a slower style of a song, uh, but I think it works here too, especially if you have multiple electric guitar players, and so you have an electric guitar player that's already maybe filling one of the other roles that we're gonna talk about. Uh, that could be a good option for you to kind of help fill some sonic space. The next role that I think that the electric guitar can play is a color role where we're not uh, playing straight up rhythm, we're not uh, doing an ambient thing, we're just kind of doing some other things that kind of fill in some sonic space within the song. And I think there's a myriad of different ways that you can do that. I'm only gonna talk about a couple. The first one that I am gonna talk about is using tremolo and the compressor and some overdrive. And two things that I like to do with that, uh, I'm gonna go back to the bridge pickup. Um, so two things that I like to do with that is just hit chords and let them ring out. So. So just kind of hit the chord changes and let it ring out. The other thing I like to do is uh, just kind of arpeggiate the, the chord. So just kind of hit the strings uh, as I kind of go along. So I'm gonna demonstrate both of those. You'll hear the progression through twice. The first time I'm just gonna hit the chords and let it ring. The second time I'm going to kind of arpeggiate the chords a little bit more. Another kind of color roll that the electric guitar can do is just kind of picking some notes kind of here and there and um, playing kind of in, in kind of the spaces of the song. So what I like to do tonally is use on a two pickup guitar, use the two pickups together. Now one of the features of this guitar is I can actually run the two pickups together in series, which would be kind of normal or in parallel, which is what I'm doing here which kind of makes it more of like a humbucker type thing. Um, so I've got the two pickups in parallel, which kind of thickens the tone. I have the compressor on, I have the overdrive on, and I have uh, just an eighth note delay. So you kind of hear. kind of doing that sort of thing. So let's hear what that sounds like within the context of the mix. Another kind of role that kind of falls between color and rhythm is doing kind of a U to the edge kind of guitar part. So uh, for that, you're gonna need a dotted eighth delay. And um, so I have that set up. I've got the compressor on, I've got the overdrive on. I'm on the uh, two pickups together. This time I'm running them in series. So this is normally how they would be run on a Telecaster and I'm just gonna play an eighth note pattern uh, and then the dotted eighth is gonna fill in those gaps with some echoes. So it's gonna sound kind of like this. So let's hear what that sounds like.
Another role that the electric guitar can play is the role of doing a riff. So a riff is kind of a little melodic theme. Oftentimes you'll hear it during like an intro or maybe during uh, in between kind of the end of the chorus going back into the verse, something like that. And so the riff that I'm gonna play here, I'm using the two pickups together. This time I'm back in parallel and using the Andy Timmons pedal just to give me a little bit more overdrive. And here is kind of the riff I'm going to play. And I've also got uh, some delay on there as well. So let's hear that. The last role that I want to talk about kind of is brings it back full circle to kind of talking about playing what the acoustic is playing and that is doing a rhythm roll. So similar to the acoustic guitar where we're playing chords and strumming, I'm going to do something similar but I'm going to approach it in two different ways. The first thing that you're going to hear, so you're going to hear the progression twice. The first time through I'm going to play just kind of some power chords with an eighth note strum pattern and this is to kind of like thicken up the sound a little bit. So I'm on the bridge pickup, OD overdrive, no delay, no compression, um, and just. And then the second half of the second time through the progression, I'm going to do one of the things that I love to do is play up the neck. So I'm going to play uh, a, I'm going to play uh, the G chord and kind of move my fingers around a little bit, switch chords around, but it's going to be up higher on the neck. And what that does is number it helps that part to really stand out. Um, number one, because it's up higher, so it's brighter sounding, uh, but also because the rest of the band most likely isn't playing up there. If your acoustic guitar player is down here playing chords, if your piano player is playing kind of in the middle of the piano, your bass player is playing down low, nobody's really kind of playing these notes up here. So you're going to hear the progression twice, the first time doing power chords, the second time playing up the neck. The volume is going to stay the same for both times. All I'm doing is switching where I'm playing. And I want you to notice how the, when I switch up the neck, that part just jumps out. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing is I am kind of playing around with the notes of the chords and kind of moving the notes of the chords around a little bit. So similar to that color thing that we did where we were just kind of playing some notes in between, I'm kind of combining that with my rhythm playing. So when I move up the neck, it's going to sound kind of like this. So I'm still kind of playing the basic progression, but I'm also kind of moving the notes of the chord around a little bit uh, just to create a little bit of color while I'm playing my rhythm. So let's hear what that sounds like. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas of maybe some ways to approach the electric guitar, especially if you're a beginner and are just kind of starting out. Again, if you would like to see me go more in depth about each of these concepts or any other playing concepts about the electric guitar, please let me know in the comments below. I, um, I, I can go in and talk about each of these different techniques talk a little bit more about effects and some different things that you can do there, talk a little bit more about kind of some playing style things. 
Um, so if that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.